John Lennon and Elvis Presley were abducted by aliens. In fact, a lot of celebrities were actually abducted by aliens. What? I'm gonna tell you guys today, five celebrities that were abducted by aliens. So, one of the first celebrities that have experienced alien encounters is actually Elvis Presley. In 1939, his mom was literally giving birth to him. Back then, the husbands were not like, you got this there, in the back patio Please. smoking a cigarette. And literally, as his son was being born, there were blue lights that came out of nowhere just started shining on the back patio. He felt the presence of aliens, but it just continued on into his childhood when he was eight years old and he has a dream. This dream he had was literally him seeing his future before his eyes. Whoa. Was it accurate? Yeah. He was a kid and he was seeing himself in front of thousands and thousands of people with a white leather jumpsuit on. And that's like what he's known for, right? And I wonder if that's why he was so incredibly successful. If you think about it, literally Elvis just like went on stage and that was it. We were all mesmerized by him. I mean, I know I was. And some would say his talent was otherworldly. He came out of nowhere and he just became so wildly successful. And then, yeah. you know, he got involved in like politics. And I think the aliens might have been like, hey, we gotta take you now. So if they can win over the musicians, and the people of influence in our world, maybe they can make us believe that they exist too. But the John Lennon story is crazy. He had two encounters with aliens that were both so surreal. John was literally sleeping in his New York apartment. My name's on business. There was another person there as well. As he's sleeping, he suddenly wakes up, which is very unusual for him. He says he's very much a heavy sleeper. And he just felt this urge to go to his window and open it up. And he sees a UFO, literally. He described circle lights just being around the entire thing. And it was like, it was like this. Oh my God. Literally just like this. He said it like came to him, right? And he was like, mm. and it came closer and closer and closer. And so they're like, this is really crazy. So they go and take their camera out, take a photo. And the Polaroid turns out blank. What? Maybe he didn't shake it good enough. No, he knew how to take a photo. I mean, just John Lennon experiencing that by himself is like, mm, maybe, but the yeah. fact that someone else was there and also witnessed it makes me believe makes it a little sense, more. Makes sense, doesn't it? Ooh. Second encounter happens, and this gets even weirder. He feels that urge again, not to pee in the middle of the night, but to just wake up and go to his door. There's red lights under his door. So he opens the door and he finds three of these guys, little string beans with giant eyeballs, just looking at him. And what? he said they both were speechless. It was like this weird thing where no one said anything, but yet there was so much said at the same time. <laughs> he Yikes. said he didn't remember anything after that. And then he found himself back in his bed again in the morning. It gets even crazier. He's like, okay, was this a dream? What was happening? He goes to open his door. There's a item right in front of his door. He said it was a weird smooth stone. It was like this big. And it was just waiting for him at his door. What? And he held on to it like a prized possession. He would bring it with him everywhere since then. He felt it was a good luck charm and a remembrance of the encounters that he's had that changed his life forever. Musicians, celebrities, professional athletes, they've all had alien encounters. Wow. I'm gonna tell you about an athlete who literally was driving and saw aliens. So, Baron Davis plays for the Cavaliers. He's driving from Las Vegas to Los Angeles. And he sees a giant metal truck. And he's like, oh no, traffic is terrible. But he notices the truck is moving closer and closer towards him and not just the opposite direction. He's freaking out. They stop. Out comes two of these guys. They were skinny, they had long bodies, they had giant eyes. He said they just walked <laughs> towards him and then touched him and then he blacked out. He doesn't remember anything. <gasps> he woke up in his car in a different place and he started. What? Like miles and miles and miles ahead of where he was originally. It's weird. It's also interesting too though, because the world tried to tell him he was crazy. Because oh. he did an article, there was an article where he did an interview about it and he was like, this happened, it was crazy, I've been abducted by aliens and I'm here to share my story and speak the truth. And apparently it was so controversial that people on his press team told him to revoke the statement and say something different. Wait, yeah. why? It's just... An alien abduction, like not that, not that crazy. Apparently he went on another interview and he was so upset about this that he just said, I can't explain it. It was unlike anything I've encountered and I've left changed. Okay, three celebrities down, two to go. Next one, 
Fran Drescher, the nanny. She firmly believes in aliens and firmly believes that she was abducted by one. Fran believes that her and her husband actually were abducted at the same time, but Sorry. in different locations. Oh, what? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Fran and her husband, before they met, actually had alien encounters separately. They both were driving and they said they've seen these guys just on the road. Apparently, they both have a scar on the inside of their wrist in the same spot. And they believe that the aliens, when they abducted both of them separately, put these microchips in their arms, connecting them together so that they would meet. Whoa. I know. That is bizarre. It's weird. I mean, come on, they've both seen aliens, they both have the same scars. I mean, there's no other explanation, right? Huh, yeah. I'm just gonna do one more, and it is Kim Wilde. Have you ever heard the song, Kids of America? Is that the one that's like, we're the kids of America, whoa. Oh yeah. yeah, so Kim Wilde actually was such a firm believer in aliens and she talked about it a lot. I mean, her album was even called Here Come the Aliens. Whoa. While she was working on her new album, she was unsure of where she was gonna get her inspiration from. And that night she had an encounter where she saw a UFO come towards her house and lights were just like flashing. And she saw it, she saw this guy, a UFO in her backyard and she said she was forever changed. She didn't actually see one of these little guys, but she said the presence and this, like just the way she felt was unworldly. Whoa. And that literally inspired her album. Wow, so aliens, they really like celebrities. Yeah, I mean, think about it. They're trying to reach people of influence so they can better influence us. I mean, we're on a show. Oh. Yes, we are people of influence and power, if anyone yeah. is listening. Yeah, if anyone wants to, to like talk with us, we can collab on something. Anyways, thank you so much, aliens, humans, for watching today. I'm Ashley. And I'm Brandy. And we'll see you later. Ready, one, two, and... We're the aliens of America, whoa! We're the aliens of America, whoa! We're aliens, we're coming now. <laughs>